Welcome to the Magic Online Championship Series Recap. I'm Rashad Miller, and I'll be going over the highlights of the Season 9 Championship. Season 9 was held August 15th through September 12th. The championship was held on September 15th. Players needed 15 qualifier points, which were awarded for high finishes in Magic Online events, to play in the championship. 587 players battled it out in Magic 2013 Seal Deck. The top 8 players were In 1st place, Jabberwocky In 2nd place, Ryan Data In 3rd place, Cosmo In 4th place, Overlord67 In 5th place, Samson In 6th place, Sleep Now in the Fire. In 7th place, Bone 55. And in 8th place, Socket. The top 8 players would then draft M13 and compete in a single elimination tournament to declare the champion. Cosmo drafted Red Blue Goblins. Sleep Now in the Fire drafted Black Green Aggro. Bone 55 drafted Blue White Mid Range. Ryan Data drafted Green Black White Mid Range. Sake drafted Green Black Red Mid Range. Jabberwocky drafted Black White Exalted. Overlord 67 drafted Black White Mid Range. And Samson drafted Green, Blue, White, Control. Let's get right to the top eight. Quarterfinals, Cosmo versus Sleep Now in the Fire. Game one, Cosmo had Chronomaton and Fogbank to defend while Welk in turn took to the air. Sleep Now in the Fire lost half of his life total before dealing with the Welk in turn. But by then, Chronomaton had grown too large to handle. Cosmo wins game one. In game two, Sleep Now in the Fire got an aggressive start while Cosmo only mustered a rummaging goblin to find answers. Fairy Invaders played defense a bit for Cosmo, but Sleep Now in the Fire found an answer for it and took Game 2. Game 3, Cosmo had a great start including Turn 1 Chronomaton, while Sleep Now in the Fire had swamps but no forests. Eventually Sleep Now in the Fire found his first green source, but not before Cosmo had a formidable army. Cosmo wins Game 3. Bone 55 versus Ryan Data. In Game 1, Ryan Data used a couple of Muan Valley Beast Trackers to search out Primal Hunt Bees and Dustdale Worm, while Bone 55 mounted an army to back his Crusader of Odric. Power and fear from Ryan Data clears the board and Bone 55 was helpless to defend against the worm. Ryan Data wins Game 1. In Game 2, Ryan Data came out of the gates with early discard and a plethora of creatures. Bone 55 was able to stabilize with Captain's Call, Fairy Invaders, and Safe Passage. Shortly thereafter, Sarah Angel sealed the deal for Bone 55. Game 3, Bone 55 outclasses each of Ryan Data's creatures from the start of the game. Attendant Knight prevented Ryan Data from attacking, while Avon Squire, Sarah Angel, and Fairy Invaders took to the air for Bone 55. Ryan Data couldn't keep up, and Bone 55 wins Game 3. Sake versus Jabberwocky. In Game 1, Jabberwocky had an early Avon Squire, but didn't get much going in his Exalted deck as he struggled to defend against Sake's steady flow of creatures. Jabberwocky attempted to stabilize with Ring of Thune on Griffin Protector, but Rancor pushed through the final damage for Sake. In Game 2, Sake took advantage of a slow start from Jabberwocky. Jabberwocky did manage to eliminate most of Sake's threats, but Rancor again was a spell that finished the job. Sake wins in two games. Overlord 67 versus Samson. In Game 1, War Falcon, Captain's Call, and Angelic Benediction allowed Overlord 67 to both attack through the air and block Samson's Sentinel Spider for three turns. And just as the last Soldier Token bit the dust, a second Captain's Call keeps Samson's forces at bay as Overlord 67 wins Game 1. In Game 2, Overlord 67 had an early Giant Scorpion to keep Samson from attacking, but Samson used the old Switcheroo to trade Augur of Bolas for Overlord 67's Giant Scorpion. 
From there, Sentinel Spider and Sphinx of Athum tied the match for Samson. In Game 3, Overlord 67's aggressive start was thwarted by Samson's efficient defensive creatures. But Samson didn't have any additional plays as Overlord 67 played creature after creature. Sphinx of Athun came down for Samson, but his life total was too low as Crippling Blight helped push through the final points of damage for Overlord 67. Semi-Finals Cosmo vs Bone 55 In Game 1, Cosmo took over the ground with Phenomaton and Crinkle's command, forcing Bone 55 to take to the air with Talon's invocation. Cosmo added Arms Dealer to the board, and the strength of that goblin alongside a second Crinkle's command was too much for Bone 55 to answer. In Game 2, things looked good for Cosmo early in this game as Cleaver Riot helped bring Bone 55's life total down to 4, but Sarah Angel and Fairy Invaders halted Cosmo's forces and claimed victory for Bone 55. In Game 3, Cosmo played Chronomaton and countered Bone 55's two threats with a pair of Essence Scatters. Krinko Mob Boss from Cosmo was more than enough to prompt the concession from Bone 55. Sake vs Overlord 67 In Game 1, Overlord 67 had a slow start after a mulligan to 6 and Sake had an early semi-inspector to make matters worse. Without any blockers for Sake's flyers, Overlord 67 quickly fell to the Air Force. Sake wins Game 1. In Game 2, Overlord 67 had War Falcon and a following captain's call to allow it to attack. Sake cleared the wave of creatures with Chandra's Fury, but Overlord 67 quickly rebuilt to take Game 2. In Game 3, Overlord 67 had only a captain's call to defend against Sake's many threats. Overlord 67 tried to stabilize with Nefarix, Overlord of Grixis, but again it was Rancor that pushed through the final damage for Sake. And that brings us to the finals of the Magic Online Championship Series Season 9 Championship, Cosmo vs. Sake. The first play of the game is Servant of Nefarox for Sake. Talaran Invocation is Cosmo's answer. The Servant trades with the Drake token, and Sake misses a fourth land drop. Blade Tuskboard joins Cosmo's Drake token. Finally, a fourth land for Sake, and it's a forest. Bloodhunter Bats hit play. Turn to Sled kills the bat, and in for an attack. A Shimmy Inspector from Sake meets the same fate. A second Bloodhunter Bat and Rancor try to play defense for Sake. But Sleep plus Cleaver Riot was the one-two punch that gives the game the Cosmo. Game 2. Sake leads off with the Timber Pack Wolf while Cosmo has Chronomaton. Yeva's Force Mage for Sake is met by Fog Bank and a pump from Chronomaton from Cosmo. Blood Hunter Back joins Sake's army and a couple of Goblin Tokens thanks to Krinko's command for Cosmo. Elvish Visionary gets Essence Scattered but Flint Hoof Boar hits the board for Sake. Sentinel Spider for Sake. This means he should be able to force damage through the Fog Bank defense. Sentinel Spider and Bloodhunter Bat continues to trim Cosmo's life total, but Chronomaton is getting bigger and bigger. Turn to Slag on the Sentinel Spider ends Sake's offense for now. Players are definitely in a creature stall at the moment, but soon Chronomaton will grow too big to handle. Talaran Invocation for Cosmo should help break this stall. Volcanic Strength on Duty Bound Dead gives Sake a new angle to attack thanks to the Mountain Walk. Whoa, but Sleep from Cosmo threatens to steal the game unless Sake has an answer. A Blade Tusk Boar is added to the board for good measure. Sake passes the turn back. This could be the final attack. Whoa, Chandra's Fury from Sake brings Cosmo down to one life. Not enough. Cosmo takes the game. And we have a champion. Congratulations to Cosmo, Season 9 champion. Now, if you'd like to see more coverage of this or any other Magic Online tournament, visit www.mtgonline.com. Thanks for watching the Magic Online Championship Series recap with me, Rashad Miller, and I'll see you next time for Season 10.